Hey guys, it's Coast to Coast LEDs. We're going to do a quick light comparison. Uh, I did the LED Lenser T7 and the mag light comparison out here, or I called it the conventional uh, 4D cell flashlight. Uh, it's like 10 degrees out here, so you're going to hear me shivering. And I guess I am wearing proper gear, it's just it's cold and the wind's blowing, so it doesn't really help. All right, to give you kind of a baseline, here is a 3D cell mag light. It's, red, it's the one of the newer ones. I guess the color doesn't really matter, but there we go. Kind of a nice beam pattern. 78 hours out of 3D cell batteries. I, I think it's 134 lumens, so it's pretty good. It's quite a substantial jump over the new uh, mag light LEDs that won't for the uh, 2D cell one because it somehow even if it's even though it's uh, FL1 standardized it's it's ridiculous it only gets eight hours at 134 lumens it's I don't know it's weird but anyway here is the T7 LED lenser LED lenser whatever you want to call it all right you see it's a much broader spot much brighter this one I believe is a lot better than the uh, mag light but that's my personal opinion I know the mag lights are good for beating people over the head when you have them that's why cops usually carry them but since they've gone to all the new smaller uh, brighter ones I can't really blame them because they're brighter and smaller but that's the LED lenser T7 turn on the headlamp dim it down so you can see what I'm doing see T7 this is water resistant so I'm gonna go ahead and drop it in the snow so I can work on other stuff here is what I, we just tested 3d cell mag light this one is very gorgeous so I'm not gonna drop it <coughs> now here is the surprising bit this is the a15 which I reviewed in the earlier video 200 lumens, 3 hours, battery life, lifetime warranty, water resistant, impact resistant, unbreakable LED. With the max optic beam, as they call it on the box, the flood, but it's really the spot. Look at that. Absolutely awesome light throw. Look at that. Yes, I'm shivering. You can see that in the video. But to me, that's a great light throw. And then uh, let me get the T7. Here's the T7's light on that side, lighting up a tree, and there is this one. This, the T7 is rated at, I believe, 183 lumens on high, because it's, it's an older light from LED Lenser. Um, and this one's 200 lumens. And then now, the big boy for the professional line, the A25 on high. Oops, got it on flood. There, look at that, look at that, it's just, it's, you can tell it's more intense, it puts out a better beam, it puts out a cleaner spot beam than the mag light and the T7, and then I believe the cleanest spot out of both of them, or, or out of these two lights right here, is the A25, which is on this side, and this is the A15. Let me put the A15 away, and go ahead and take back out the T7 to do a comparison. Here's the T7 on the left, or sorry, the right, and then the A25 is on the left. Look at the light difference. I mean, the 250 lumens, here's this, A25, and here is 183 lumens for the T7. And like I mentioned in uh, the A25 video, the speed focus is a little bit hard to use, but I have been told it will get easier to use as you use it. Um, now here is, we'll go ahead and do the two of my favorites. We'll do the 3D cell and the A25 together. Let's see who's better. The criminal beater or the professional who likes to wear a jumpsuit don't ask it's a mechanics light so I figured the professional jumpsuit would uh, fit there 134 lumens for the 3d cell look at that it dwarfs it yeah so <laughs> 
you can uh, pretty much tell Coast definitely has their crap together when it comes to lighting technologies and the way their optics work. <coughs> now, like I said, here's we'll do a low. There's low that uh, puts out 32 lumens. I mean, that's quite a substantial beam, in my opinion, compared to the lower end flashlights that boast, oh, we have a million lumens, but yeah, you have there's no throw for them. Now, I have on my head the HL7. There it is on the flood. You can kind of see. Here, I'll turn it off. You can see you can't see much. Then if I turn it back on, you can see mo most of the everything. Here, I'll focus it. Look at that beam. 193 lumens for this beam. I was using this last night. I was riding my bike in the, my mountain bike in the snow. Great headlight. Once I get my GoPro Hero 2, you guys are really going to love this. my videos. So yeah, that con concludes the... Uh, white comparison well look right right here t7 and the hl7 yeah i'd give the edge to the led lens or t7 over the hl7 so there you go so a slight a slight uh, shooting of these uh, shooting of sides so you can see what their light sides so you can see. please comment rate subscribe be bringing more videos soon. Hopefully I'll get my HP 17 back here within a week and I'll give you a really nice in-depth review and the ends are out of that booger. The ends are out of that booger. Coast to Coast LEDs out. Subscribe. Subscribe.